Hello guys, it's Nick here, and today we're going to be going to Zentil Keep, or at least this game calls it Zuhentiru. You know, it's like, I don't know if I said that right, but anyways. Uh, first you have to talk to Kadorna, or else you can't, um, you can't do the mission. Anyways, um, I sold the two things I got, you know, from saving the Piven Airs. Again, I, as far as I know, they don't help you in any way besides giving you money to buy some cool stuff. Anyways. So you want to take a boat west, um, it's going to be kind of near the Buccaneer base, in fact it's at the very ass, you know, southwest corner of the wilderness, so, um, I almost went back to Flan, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so, uh, you see this little patch of ground here, see there's a thing here, there's a thing there, and this is where Zensel Keep is, so we're going to go there. Um, so you, it's weird, you can kind of go to this place too, like, even though you're not commissioned to, except you won't actually be able to enter, they'll just say, you know, leave, you know. So, the leader asks if we're the diplomats from Flan, and we're going to say yes. Um, and we're going to, um, pretty much go see the captain. This guy looks kind of creepy when he makes his face go, you know, it's like, jeez. <sighs> I feel like he should remind me of somebody, but I don't know who. Maybe like Sean Connery from like Hunt for an October or something, but, um. So pretty much, you know, this never made sense to me, because he's like, you know, feel free to look around until, you know, dinner or something. But then, you, if you leave your room, the guards are like, Oh, you have to go back inside your room. It's like, but he said I can look around if I wanted to. Makes no freaking sense, man. Anyways. <sighs> okay. So, we're gonna wait. Might as well just rest. I mean, you can't, you really can't really do anything. Well, you could, but, you know, you're gonna get in a fight with all the guards. And you know what? Maybe I'll just play through the game again, and then, like, and then this, the second time, I'll do, like, I'll fight off all the buccaneers, and I'll fight off all the, you know, the guards and stuff. But, uh, anyways. So, he will ask what you want to talk about. Um, I'll say monsters. I don't remember exactly what he says. I think he's, he's... I remember he says something about a flame-clad monster, which he's probably talking about Tyranthrixus. And then he asks, do you think Flan could, you know, withstand an attack? And I don't know which one is yes or no. I'm going to say no. And then... Ho... Soreha... Again, I... Someone want to translate? I mean, I... I like I said, I could translate some Japanese, I could translate katakana, and just, you know, not a whole lot of hiragana, still learning. Um, let's say magic, and then he says, okay, what kind of magic are you talking about? Um, let's talk about the pool, and he said, well, he's heard that there's a pool where, you know, that he hears has a lot of power, but he also hears that the power can be pretty bad, and so, uh, he, again, he's like, well, what do you want to talk about, and I think, I, I hope this is the right option. Um, he's like, I think he says, do you think Kadorna is it? Yeah, he's like, do you think Kadorna would be a good mayor for Flan? Yeah, sure. Well, I think so too. Oh, well, funny we just seem to have the same political views. Ooh. Anyways, um, so he's pretty much like, okay, well that was fun, but now you guys gotta go back to your room. Um, and so, I gotta show you the two different little scenarios here. If you just, if you... You know, go to sleep, or if you go to sleep, you get hit by the guards. See? So, you want to stay up. And then, of course, two hours later, the guards come and try to kill you. Wow, I feel like a real guest here, man. I started doing that to be able to come over to my house to, you know, spend the night. I'll, like, try to... I'll have someone try to assassinate them in their sleep. Oh, crap, I forgot I had Gwydion on auto combat. Crap. Although, you know, there's not a whole lot I could do with them anyway, so... Uh, okay, so... I always thought it was funny these guys are called AIDS in the US version. Here they're called... Let's see... Uh, what? Veteran. Oh, they're called veterans in this game? Okay. Like Vietnam veterans? That's kind of weird. Um, 
but in the U.S. version they're called aides. I don't know why they can't use the word veteran in the U.S. version. Maybe they thought, well, it refers to the Vietnam War, and, you know, it's too violent. And... I mean, I know they were called aides in the computer versions as well, but it's like, I don't know, still, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, fortunately, these guys aren't too bad, you know, after you take them down. So, I'm going to do that. Hopefully. Uh, and you could run into really nasty enemies in this game, too. Like, uh, or in this part, like, there's like a bunch of dwarf fighters. Oh my gosh, I hate those dwarf fighters. They are so freaking... I mean, you can kind of stink cloud on them and stuff, but, you know, again, you're kind of limited on your spells. So you want to, you know, kind of keep, you know, keep it calm there. So anyways, even though you beat those guards, there's a crap ton more guards that come at you, and I do mean a crap ton. Speaking of which, I always thought it'd be funny if they released, like, a Eric Clapton album, and there was, like, it had, like, every single song Eric Clapton ever did, and they called it a crap ton of Clapton. That's funny. These guys are pretty easy, too. The guards. Uh, you know. They look like red Shovel Knights now that I look at them. But I always thought my fighter was the original Shovel Knight. I mean, all he's missing is the horns. I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks just like Shovel Knight, you know. I never played that game, but I saw when I was on, like, PAX a few years ago, or two years ago, or I don't remember, but I do remember seeing it at PAX. I haven't played it, though. I mean, I, I heard it's pretty good, but... Anyways, uh... I always thought the cleric was, like, supposed to be Mark Knopfler, you know, like, from Dire Straits, because they both have those, like, headbands and stuff. Um... Especially in the computer version, like, one of the character portraits actually looks a lot like Mark Knopfler. It's, it's pretty funny. Oh. Yeah, I can't use spells. Crap. Okay. Um. I really should get something better than leather armor. But. Maybe I could have picked some up at the graveyard, but. I don't know. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Ah! Come on. I gotta head to practice here in like 10 minutes, so it's like, I'm trying to want to get this done. I, I mean, I'm sure we can get out of here before then, but, you know. Yeah, so I guess I figured it out. As long as I don't turn turbo mod mode on, I'm I'm fine. I didn't, I didn't know that would have done anything, but yeah, I guess we'll put some guys to sleep. Fortunately, sleep spells actually work with these guys. It'll make things a lot easier, though, in the long run. After this, though, you have to try getting out of the castle, or the keep, or whatever, you know, it is. And there's all, one of the tavern rumors is, you know, Zentil Keep is like a sovereign nation, and unless we are careful, it will decal our wear on flan. You know, they, they really screw up with the spelling there. What they meant to say was, declare war on flan, and I think they already did. So it's a good thing we're kind of kicking their butts. There's a huge cock tease in the game, though. And I mean a huge one, and it's actually not too far from where we're at. And in fact, I might... I'm not really going to tell you guys, because... I mean, I think... It, in fact, I think it's going to be in the next part, so... I don't think there's really much point in me talking about it when it's going to happen. But it's such... It's so... It really makes me mad, and it's like... You know, out of all the crappy things in this game that I don't like to talk about because I like to say that this game is perfect. Kind of like how liberals view Obama, you know, where like they, they say he's perfect even though he's done like the worst job any president has. Oh god, I'm bringing politics into this. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I keep doing that, you know. When I was in school, I never really paid attention in my like, you know, uh, you know, like uh, current events class stuff, but now it's like I'm on the ball. It's like... And it sucks, too, because I wish politics didn't really run my life, but they kind of do. But, it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, at least I can use my sword. And that's kind of what this is, or isn't it? I mean, you're going after, like, these corrupt political figures, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Okay. Nick attacks Kasich, or however you say his name. And he dies. Woo! Ugh. Oh. It's weird though, I've been having, you know, I tried to install Grand Theft Auto 3 and I could not get the game to work. I tried like everything. Vice City works, just not Grand Theft Auto 3. And I really missed that game. Though, there was one mission in the game that really upset me. And 
it was like, uh, it was like, I think it was like the second to last mission where you had to, uh, um, you had to go to all these coffee stands within the allotted time on each island and, you know, do, you know, and like destroy them and stuff. Oh my gosh, I hated that mission, man. It was so, it was almost impossible. The way I did it, though, is I was watching, while I was playing the mission, I would watch, you know, a walkthrough on, a, I think, GTA missions there, because I could not do it. There was also another one, I can't remember exactly what you had to do. Oh good, they're surrendering, that's good. Maybe they're French. Maybe they surrender. Oh. Yeah. It's okay people, I'm part French, like, you know, I could say that. You know, it's ridiculous, I can't make any more racist jokes, because, you know, people get so uptight about it. It's like, just because I do a Jewish joke doesn't mean I hate Jews. In fact, Jews are one of the races I respect the most, you know, as a Christian, because, you know, Jesus Christ was Jewish, and, you know. I wish I was Jewish, I'm not though. I'm not any part of Jew, you know, I don't have any Jews in me. The closest thing I have is German, you know, that's it. <laughs> yeah, see that's weird, some of the enemies, they'll, you know, they'll actually surrender, but some of them, you know, others, like these guys, they just run away. So, and I don't think I can reach these guys, so I better go back and... At least the frame rate actually seems to be getting a little better, and that's good. I have Firefox closed out, that way it, you know, doesn't use as much CPU. Oh, come on, man! Okay. I can't get him. I could use a wand or something, but I'm gonna save that. We're gonna need that later. Later. Oh, wait, that was laser. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, at least we won. That's good. Okay, and alar the alarm rings. We better get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm trying to remember where to go. I think I go... Oh, man, I can't remember. Uh, I'm trying to get out through the wall, you know. Well, at least this is the gate, so if I can get out of here... I'm pretty sure it's the gate, if I can get out of here... Crap, but it may not be. I I'm trying to say, is that... are those the gates out of there, or not? There is a wall I can jump over, but I have to find it first. Okay. Crap! Also, I think, I think it is set, you know, for example, so if you, like, take five steps and the guards find you... Okay, there's supposed to be a damn wall around here that I can jump over. Ah, oh, crap, okay. We're gonna find it, people. We, we are going to find it, I promise you. Okay. Okay. That's good. Crap! It's supposed to be around here, unless I took it out of the Japanese version, but I could have swore I remember doing it when I was playing through the actual game, so... Okay, come on. Where is this freaking wall, man? Did Trump have it taken down or something? Or... Crap. Okay, maybe it's... Crap. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous, man. I can't... Oh, crap. See, there's the dwarf fighter, by the way. But I really don't want to fight that guy. He's not easy. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna go through here. We're gonna hope to God that this is the right way. Uh, I might as well just use a fireball or something, because it's like, you know. Or put them to sleep, actually. These guys, at least these guys are easy. These red shovel knights. Yeah, let's call them that. What, what are they called in this game? I think they're called like, Heishi or something, but. I can't, God, I can't read it fast. Text appears way too fast. Can't do it. Okay, anyways, yeah, we'll just call them Red Shovel Knights. Why not? Okay, so... This is probably the worst part of the game. Like, absolute worst part of fight. You know, it's more... Oh, I really don't want to say anything bad about this game. Jeez! Why are you guys being so freaking hard on me, man? I don't want to say anything bad about this game. But the combat... I think it's a little too slow. I mean, this game was made in 1991, so that was eight years after the Famicom was released in Japan. Eight years, man! I mean, you'd think by then they can make a pretty solid RPG. 
But I do still say this is the best RPG on the NES. By far. It is the best. No question about it. You know, Final Fantasy, you know, I hate Final Fantasy. You know what? I bought that game when I was in Las Vegas and I just could not figure it out. I couldn't. I didn't like it. I thought it was crap. You know, one of the most common complaints I hear about this game is that the characters, like this version, is that the characters look too Japanese. And it's like, well, it can't be because the Japanese developed this version, could it? Seriously, besides, I actually think it looks kind of cool. They kind of have an anime-ish look to them. And I think that's pretty cool, you know? So who cares if they look Japanese or not? It's like, you know, it's Nintendo, a Japanese game console. So of course, they're probably going to look like they're from Japan or something. But I think it's cool. Like I said, it, it kind of makes it look anime-ish. So... I have no problem with it. And this part's taking a little longer than I thought it would, so we better we better hurry up here. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure those are the gates. It's gotta be, because I don't know where else I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he's dead. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Oh, oh, sweet! We made it! I didn't even have to press any buttons, it just automatically took me out of the keep. No, we don't want to fight any ant cakes. Not right now. No. Wouldn't be good. No. Okay, well at least we made it. I mean, this is probably the longest part I've done so far. 16 minutes. Um... Now, there is going to be a point in the game where I leave you to your own devices. I mean, you will get to see the end, but there's one part where I'm going to leave you guys alone because the strategy is pretty simple you just you know have to keep fighting the same thing over and over again of course you don't want to see that I mean you want to see the game you know so anyways now I'm just gonna rest till morning so I can get my reward no crap I meant to say morning but or asamade I guess okay well however you say it oh, okay let's and that was one thing I didn't like either, is that how every single time you pass the, you know, the city hall, you get that message. It's like, I know, I've passed by like a billion times. Anyways, yeah, thanks. She's like, we're afraid you wouldn't make it back from Sentinel Keep. Oh, well then why'd you send me? Couldn't you bring, can I bring some like, you know, flan guards with me or something? No, 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 no. You got to do it all yourself. Anyways, so it turns out Kadorna screwed them over, so you got to kill them as soon as you... Find him. And then Urslingen wants to talk to me, aka my character, I guess. We have the same exact character portrait, I assume it's the same guy. Okay, well thank you guys for watching. So next time we're gonna go to Stojanow Gate and or Stojanow Gate, however you say it, and clear out the guards. So thanks for watching, God bless, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out! Gotta head to band practice.